Good morning from the duck blind. I'm out here with my dad and my brother this morning. It's about 6.30 in the morning. Legal shoot is on about 10 minutes. It's about 50 degrees out here and the wind is blowing. We got our decoys all set up. So wish us luck. Hopefully we can shoot some ducks this morning. 6.43 legal. You get it? Jed just shot his first duck of the morning. Woo, nice shot, Dad. Nice shot, Jed. You didn't have enough shells to get that one, huh, Dad? I said you didn't have enough shells to get that one. <laughs> that one excited me too much. I did some poor aiming. On that one. Yeah, well, I missed too. It's a dark morning, huh? Yeah. That cold front has it really cloudy. Nice, Dad. That was you. That was you, right? Well, I missed. Did you see that one, yeah, but I don't have any shells and I shot three times. Why can't I be over there? We're flying through you, through me. Through me? Yeah, no flew right past you. No. You already got freaking four birds, don't you? Yeah. Jed's on fire, Dad. Jed. Did you get one too, Jen? Yeah. Those were teal. I got one, Dad. You did? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was fast reaction. We must have shot it like the same time because I didn't even know that you got one, Jen. Yeah, we did. I hear him. Above your head, Dad. Damn. Nice one, Dad. Thanks. I thought that was too high. <laughs> I I was I was about to say, man, Dad, sky busting, and then I look up and one's falling. Nice job. You boys are killing it. Ugh. Good luck finding that one. How's it going? How's it going, Dad? Dad? You find it? Dad? Yeah. Do you find it? Woo! Got him. Got him. Good job. Nice Jed got his and I got one. Oh, Jed got one too? Yeah, Jed got one and I got the second one. Nice. That was the first time that he actually gave me a warning of any ducks this morning. Normally, Jed's always like, bruk, 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 bruk. You're done now. Yep. Jed got his limit. You wanna come over here? Yeah. This stuff is so thick. Jed shot his limit, so I move into his spot because it was a little better than mine. But Jed was on him. I don't think you missed once, did you, Jed? Uh, missed Good job. Yeah, buddy. Let's get you some more ducks. You know how sometimes we set up and we're like, oh, wish I wish we were over there, kind of thing. Yeah. Or you see like a bunch of birds landing somewhere else. I did not see that at all. Yeah. Freak. I was looking at those. Where'd he come from? 
our side. Gosh darn it. That sucked. I still think we should leave here. Did you get a shot off her? She got three shots off. There's one in, straight ahead. Straight in front of you, Dad. That was like the world's worst miss. You didn't see those ones that were out there? Yeah, they were way out there. I know, and I was looking at them, so I didn't, I wasn't ready. Don't move! Dad! I never seen him. Until he started creeping right over me. That's a shot you never get, bro. I never get that shot. You never get those straight up shots. Jen and I were just talking about that too. Yeah, that's the shot you never, you, you don't even like taking it. He's freaking swimming. Huh? He's swimming. No, he's okay. I'm gonna just grab him. You didn't hear me? I never get the friggin' over my head behind my back shot, and I got it, baby. This stuff is exhausting to walk through. It's so thick. Like out of breath and I walked 20 feet. <laughs> oh baby. Look at that beauty. <laughs> oh yeah. Beautiful whistling duck. Wow. I got three. Yeah, well Jed, I have one out there and Jed picked up that teal and I just got this. I just put my shells back in my box and I shot six ducks of six shots. No. Yeah. That is impossible. Yeah. What about those extra five? I didn't take them, they're still in the box. That's insane. I put my camera here. Oh. So Jed just walked over here and he put the rest of his shells back in the box because he shot his limit. And he said that he shot his six ducks with six shells. Incredible. You can't, you can't get any better than that. That's an absolute perfect score. So good job. Six for six, baby. I, on the other hand, have definitely missed quite a few times today. There's ducks. Two ducks. Two ducks, Dad. Oh my God. Dad, 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 dad. Jesus. Did you get any? No. Look at that flock up there. Why can't I get a flock like that? Yeah, that one was cupping. So far I only got five of mine. Five what? Shells. Oh, you got five years? Five of my six. Yay! Yeah, that's all of them then. So we'll just start wrapping them up? Yeah. It's a really nice widget. Heck yeah. We already got some. How was your day, Dad? Uh, my day was terrific. Hunting out here with uh, Brooke and Jed. Um, the weather was gorgeous. A little bit chilly, but gorgeous day. I shot five ducks. I only retrieved three because as you can see, this area, the, the water is, is kind of skinny. So I shot two ducks over the reeds and I made an effort. I walked in there and trudged around, but I, I couldn't find two of them. So, you know, 
still still a good day I got a nice widgeon I haven't shot a widgeon in uh, quite some time and that that looks like a pretty mature Drake too how about you Brooke how was your day well Jed you tell us about your day first it was beautiful uh, like my dad said a little chilly but it kept the mosquitoes down which was nice uh, I had a great day. I shot six ducks with six shells, which I don't think I've ever done that before. I'm real proud of Jed for getting six ducks with six shots. That's that's an achievement, you know. That's that's doing what you're supposed to do, you know. I shot five ducks. I I used 15 rounds, so that means 10 of mine. I, I wasn't really aiming. I was pointing and pulling the trigger. I, I get excited sometimes, especially when um, a big group of ducks will come in. Like one or two ducks come in, I have better at aiming. I had a group of like 20 come in, and it just it just gets me all crazy. I shot three times and didn't hit anything. Because so. <laughs> you're too excited. But six for six, that's because ducks are not that easy to shoot. So six for six is terrific. So I took my fair share of shots today and had a decent amount of misses, but I did get two blue wing teals and one whistling duck today. I'm definitely proud of this one. When I shot it, I was shooting like straight up above my head, like kind of almost behind me. And I don't think I've ever landed, actually got a duck that way before. So I was really happy that I did actually get this one like that. Normally, as long as they're in front of me, I have better luck, but over my head like that doesn't usually happen. And this actually happened. So really happy about this one. And this is going to be a nice big breast on there compared to these teals. Teals are absolutely delicious, but their breast is a lot smaller than a whistling duck. So I'm excited to clean these babies up and eat them. Like always, we picked up all the spent shells, at least all the ones that we could find. Hopefully that's the majority of them. But you always want to make sure that you pick up all of your old shells and bring those home with you. You don't want to leave anything out here that wasn't here before you got here. A balloon. balloon. Cleaning up the ocean and cleaning up That's the marsh. Here a while. It looks like a Halloween balloon. Well, I'd say we picked a pretty good spot. I, I bet you, on average, we did um, pretty damn good. This is the best part about going with my dad and my brother is that I don't have to do any work. <laughs> they do all the paddling and I just have to sit here. <laughs> Welcome back to the kitchen. So today we are making some duck sandwiches. I asked my mom what her favorite thing is with duck and she said bacon. So that's what we're starting out with bacon. And then I asked Jed what his favorite thing was and he said a sandwich. So we got the best of both worlds and a great duck dish always starts with bacon. So I took bacon and I chopped it into like inch size pieces. And of course, you know, bacon shrivels down. So taking these out. And I'm actually going to use some of this bacon grease, but I don't want all of it because it's a lot. Okay, so we took out a lot of that bacon grease and now just like the bottom of the pan has a little bit. And now we're going in with some sliced onion. Whoops. While the onions are caramelizing, I'm gonna get my buns ready. We got these beautiful soft hoagie buns. And what I did was I took some mayonnaise and mixed it with some blackened magic seasoning. I'm gonna put this on our bread. Basically like a homemade kind of Cajun mayo. So now that our onions have been going for like five minutes and they're a little bit soft, we're gonna add in some red peppers, just sliced, just like that. I'm 
All right, take a look at our peppers and onions. They're looking really soft and delicious. Now, the next step is to add in our duck. So this is all of our ducks that I chopped into little cubes. Now I'm gonna add the duck in right now. Now I'm gonna season it with some pepper and then some garlic powder. And what I did was, it's been three days since we shot these ducks. When I took them home, we put them in a bowl of water with salt in it. Now what that does is it helps remove the blood and we just kept changing the water out and it draws out some of that blood and it's gonna help keep your duck nice and moist. Next thing I'm doing is adding in some soy sauce. in some Worcestershire. 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 However you say it, that's going in. You think by now I'd be able to say it, but that's okay. Worcestershire. Worcestershire. My, Worcestershire. my dad and Victor are debating about it in the background. So now, the reason I like to cut the duck into small pieces is we are shooting these out of the sky. If you don't know what a shotgun shell looks like, it is full of small BBs. It's called shot. Now, if you're shooting a duck up close, you may have multiple of those pellets hitting ducks. If you're shooting a duck that's far further away, your spread goes out and then you have a chance of hitting it with less of those pellets. Now, one time, talking maybe five, six years ago or something, my mom actually bit into one of those and chipped her tooth. So since then, we always try to kind of, either we're really careful when we clean our ducks to make sure that we don't leave any shot in the ducks, or you do something like this, and then as I'm chopping it, I literally inspect <laughs> like every single piece. Then the next year after she even chipped her tooth, she bit into another piece, but nothing happened, but we do find them sometimes. I didn't find any this time when I cleaned these ducks. But I mean, sometimes your pellets go straight through the duck and you don't have to worry about that, but you always run the chance of there still being a pellet stuck in that breast. Your poor mom got it twice. Yep. Two times she got it. Um, and then I just wanted to say one more thing about these ducks. These are wild ducks. They're not the duck that you're buying in the store that's farm raised, that's fatty and giant, like these are ducks that are migrating, so they're small, they don't have a lot of fat content, they're very lean, muscular birds. We're just letting these babies simmer. Wow, it's freaking tender. Soaking it for three days, that moisture soaks in there so it doesn't dry out and oof, that makes it really tender, it's good. Okay, while the duck is simmering and finishing cooking, I'm going to add my bacon back in. And one for me. <laughs> and one for Vic. All right, so now it is time to make our sandwiches, taking our buns, and scoop in are filling in. And to finish it off, a little sprinkle of parsley. I'll tell you, in the early days of duck hunting, I didn't know how to cook duck, and I was gonna give up duck hunting because um, everything we tried, it was like eating a shoe. But after lots of trial and error, we got some good recipes. This duck sandwich here is damn good. I mean, it's, it's delicious. 
It makes you want to get up at 1.30 in the morning and go duck hunting in the cold and the wind. It's worth it. Good job, Brooke. Brooke, that was one heck of a sandwich. All the ingredients complemented each other really well. Uh, wild duck is in a class of its own. It's just, uh, it doesn't taste like anything else. And like my dad said, it it definitely makes it worth waking up crazy early to get out there and brave the elements to, to get ducks. So I'm really lucky to live in such an ecologically like diverse state where one season we're hunting ducks and the next season we're you know, harvesting lobsters, so I'm, I'm really lucky to be able to do all that with my family. We had to leave the house at 1.30 in the morning or 1? We left at 1.30. We had to leave the house at 1.30 in the morning and Jed only had one hour of sleep. He said he went to sleep between like 8 and 9 and then just stared at the ceiling the rest of the time, so he definitely didn't get a lot of sleep. I think I had like four hours, so didn't bother him though because he still got his six ducks, his six ducks with six shots, so maybe that's the ticket. Go out there with no sleep. <laughs> That was an amazing sandwich. It's uh, interesting to see how well Brooke can cook fish and then switch it up with some, some I was gonna say land animals, but some, some air animals and make it a delicious meal. So good job, Brooke. Thank you. For all the duck hunters out there at home who need duck recipes, you guys have to try this. I told Brooke it's not just a good duck sandwich. It was probably my top three sandwiches of all time. Juicy and by I think you guys brined it for two or three days. When I hear people talking about wild duck, they always say one thing. They say it's chewy, it's gamey. There was no gaminess, there was no chewiness. I honestly like it a little bit more than steak. I think it's got a really unique flavor. It is so killer, and this recipe knocked it out of the park. Wow, thank you. I loved my sandwich too. I especially like the peppers in there. It gave it a really good flavor. The bacon was awesome delicious wish you could go hunt some more for us uh, loved it thank you Brett. thank you what is it that brooke can't do good she can catch lobsters like a mermaid she can catch fish she can hunt shoot ducks behind her back she got one and then the the meals she cooks whether it's fish or duck are just outstanding it's fun hanging out with her, I gotta say. It's fun hanging out with Brooke. It's fun hanging out with you too. <laughs> <laughs> well, another successful, delicious, and easy duck recipe. So if you guys are duck hunters, I highly recommend giving that recipe a try. One thing that I was sad about for this video was I gave Jed a GoPro, and sometime between when I had give it to, given it to him and when he turned it on, he changed the setting to photos, and he actually took like thousands of photos instead of taking any video. So it would have been cool to have all his shots on video. We tried, but I don't know what happened and the settings got messed up. So we didn't get any of his footage, which was pretty upsetting. And we did only get to hunt one time this season, which was pretty disappointing. And next weekend is actually the closing of the season. So unfortunately this was our last hunt of the season, but it was a lot of fun. We had a successful hunt and I had a great time with my dad and my brother. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next video.